Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Rathin Datta channel. Today we are talking, going to talk about a very special thing, a special mechanical uh, equipment you can say or a mechanical product, mechanical engineering product that is Typhoon Turbine or it can be called as VAWT, Vertical Axis Wind Turbine or as per the developer or the uh, engineer who actually actually created it he actually calls it magnus vawt because this vawt vertical axis wind turbine is caused or is uh, supported by the magnus effect so to rotate the turbine and finally producing the most needed electrical energy or electricity in sim in simple or in general so uh, what it does it has three cylindrical uh, three cylindrical um, cylinders you can say rotating cylinders uh, at an uh, angle gap of 120 degree 120 degree and 120 degree and these three are connected to a single uh, spindle a vertical axis spindle and when the when there is a, um, a rotation when there is a rotation uh, uh, or when there is a flow of air from all the direction because it can take wind from all direction so hence it is an omnidirectional equipment because it, it can take wind from any directions what happens it uses the magnus effect we will see how the magnus effect actually works so when magnus effect comes into the play as per them uh, it actually helps uh, in other case it actually helps in such a way let's take an example of our uh, typical wind turbine uh, it has an horizontal propeller horizontal blades which actually uh, when there is sudden change of speed of the wind of the air when there is a cyclone or typhoon it actually destroys it it actually makes it come down or it pushes it or it uh, destroy the blades or the turbine as a whole but due to the magnus effect developing in the rotating cylinder what happens is that it can actually uh, withstand that turbine it can actually withstand uh, withstand that uh, wind or the uh, typhoon or the cyclone just in case we see in in japan and in us probably or philippines and in india also uh, what it will do it not only withstand this high energy or high velocity wind but also it will harness energy from it so the engineer named uh, shimizu shimizu who started uh, believing he can create and finally he creates it and names it as uh, Chell Energy. He names it as Chell Energy. The company that he develops now he has uh, posted or he has placed those or established those turbine in various places of in the beaches areas of uh, Japan and he is actually expecting because what happens after the tsunami uh, after the tsunami in Japan, uh, there is a uh, what should I say? There is a very uh, destruction throughout the country. There was a huge energy requirement. Till today, 84% of its energy requirement is uh, is actually uh, made from other sources or from other countries. So this engineer thought, why don't we harness this energy, this natural energy, which we th think is an um, how should i say we should which we should we should take it as a positive energy rather than a negative cyclone or a typhoon energy so what he does he makes this typhoon turbine or simply you can say magnus vawt magnus vertical axis wind turbine with which it will withstand the energy of the or high velocity wind and also harness the energy as per the claim of the company or the engineer shimuzu he says that uh, the one turbine can actually serve Japan for 50 years of energy requirement. Can you believe that? Yes, he claims that. And he is actually waiting for such a cyclone to come again in future. So not in a bad way, but in a good way so that he can actually let people see that he can actually harness it. We believe, at least I believe that 
whatever he's developed because there are certain videos if you type typhoon turbine you can see the red colored thing it is revolving revolving that's with the cylinders you can see it is actually working we will see how it will actually work uh, the, we, along with the help of the Magnus effect hello guys uh, this is the typhoon turbine we were actually talking about in the left hand side you can see the top view yes this is the top view and also the front view as we were saying there are three cylinders uh, rotating at, a, at their own uh, uh, own axis with the wind coming from all the directions as we have said it is omnidirectional equipment means omnidirectional wind is striking those all the three cylinders which are at 120 degree to each other and both of the all the three not both of the all the three are connected to the uh, general of the common spindle that is at the center suppose O, which is actually getting uh, uh, kinetic energy from all the three uh, uh, moving after the resultant force develops that that resultant force actually drives this spindle which is you can see in the front drive that is in the red thing that I have shown yes this one uh, that uh, that red thing starts revolving with certain speed or certain angular speed omega let's say so what happens when these three starts revolving or rotating at their own axis uh, this the resultant force actually drives this uh, common or central spindle which at the end gives you the uh, as the turbine rotates it gives you the uh, electric energy or the electricity which is the requirement so Typhoon and a typhoon turbine, which is also called Magnus, sorry, Magnus Air uh, Wind Turbine or Magnus Vertical Air Wind Turbine by the uh, inventor who actually or the engineer who invented Shimozu he is a Japanese by nationality so his aim was to use the cyclone or the typhoon energy and harness this wind energy to using the vertical axis this vertical axis the red color that I have shown in the in the front view and using the Magnus effect so what happens in the Magnus effect uh, Magnus effect is nothing but uh, simple Suppose this is your rotating uh, cylinders. What happens if, if suppose uh, it is rotating in the uh, clockwise direction and wind and the uh, wind is coming this way or the flow of fluid is this way and in the top side it will be coming like that. Okay, in the downward side it will be coming like that. So what will happen? a force will generate which will actually try to push the uh, push the uh, this uh, drum to this direction but what happens what happens in that it actually uh, due to Newton's uh, reaction and uh, equal and opposite reaction it goes this way and hence the all the three cylinder maintains in such a way that it develops a resultant force resultant force as you can say and it actually powers the central or the common spindle of the turbine and hence it harnesses the wind energy into the electric energy so this magnus effect can be said as when a rotating cylinder like this when a rotating cylinder or sphere is placed in an uniform flow it may be the flow of wind or water the work force in a direction perpendicular to the work force as you can see this is actually perpendicular to the flow is called magnus force this this way is called magnus force because magnus uh, actually magnus actually invented or discovered this force uh, long back so this uh, his name was gustav Mag magnus in 1852 he actually discovered this he was a german physicist okay so this magnus effect can be actually seen while playing football or spinning the ball in cricket and also so using this magnus 
effect this uh, your this uh, what should i say this uh, typhoon turbine uh, this typhoon turbine actually been designed and in in the japanese coast if you can see sorry for my diagram if this is japanese coast they have actually placed in the coastal regions of the japanese uh, beaches and they are now waiting for this kind of no this kind of uh, cyclone or typhoon to come so that they can harness the energy so this is what the simple description and i have let a uh, kind of a small animation at the end of it if you can see uh, and hence uh, this is what the typhoon turbine is and once again thank you so much for supporting me liking my videos subscribing to me and keep hitting the bell button thank you thank you so much bye bye